Hi, Micro Hunter here again. These algae that you see here, well, I grew them um, at home in small little glass jars on my windowsill. And in this video, I would like to show you how you can make yourself uh, enrichment cultures like these. Because in many cases, probably you will not be able to go out very frequently to collect uh, water samples. It's actually quite simple. Uh, what you need to do is, uh, is you need to take uh, some uh, inorganic fertilizer and you need to simply add this fertilizer to a little bit of tap water. Just make sure that the tap water does not uh, contain a lot of chlorine. And then you need to inoculate uh, the culture. And this means that you have to add some water um, or some algae uh, to the water. Um, because otherwise the algae are not going to start growing just on their own. You need to have something like a starter culture. And then after a couple of days you might be lucky uh, because you might not only be able to see algae growing but maybe also some other organisms just for example just like this rotifer um, or these worms because as the algae grow of course uh, they build up biomass and food and this food can of course also serve for other organisms in the culture. And of course when you inoculate it the culture then of course you were also transferring some of these other organisms. Now a second possibility is, is if you use a, a garden soil and uh, basically I got some commercial garden soil, I mixed it with water and I let it stand overnight uh, so that all of the nutrients were soaked out so to say, leached out and then I filtered it and then I again added uh, some algae and this is basically what I saw, lots of bacteria, lots of bacteria um, because of course they also grow and they feed on the nutrients and of course also algae like uh, these uh, green filamentous um, structures that you see here. Um, and basically what you're growing is a little bit of luck, it depends a little bit um, on the progression of organisms that you have. Uh, sometimes uh, you will get different results even though you started off in a very similar way uh, because so there are so many factors and parameters that influence everything and you can see it actually in the different types of colors that I have here that uh, different types of algae started to grow and uh, it also has to do a little bit with the light conditions with the temperature maybe uh, with the type of substrate that you're using yeah and this different color simply showed to you that evidently different organisms are growing there some of them there is more decomposition going on especially if there's a lot of organic material in the liquid um, sometimes there's not so much decomposition going on that's a fun thing here. I don't know what that is. It also looks uh, yeah, like a, a eukaryote in any case because I do see some very small cell organelles in there. Um, this is a little bit of time lapse uh, but I'm not so quite so sure what it could be. In any case I just wanted to show this to you that there are quite a lot of interesting things that you're growing here. Um, I have to admit one thing I am you gotta be a little bit careful with these things as well because you don't know what you're growing and so especially if you're growing cultures that contain a lot of organic substance like here for example uh, a piece of decomposing wood. I mean there are gonna be a lot of bacteria in there okay so that is something where that you might want to take care of um, that uh, yeah it's not it might not be too healthy okay so you can see different types of jars and containers that I've been using here um, yeah to grow it and that's also a possible result there's a fungus growing on here. The whole thing started to get moldy and bad. Yeah, also not very good. Yeah, and here again, a nice ciliate uh, moving around here. So you can actually see the cilia a little here. Um, yeah, moving around here and also some bacteria. This, by the way, this is in phase contrast. So it's pretty easy to do. You have to wait maybe around a week or two weeks um, until the algae starts to develop and you know that uh, something's happening if of course the whole thing turns very green. I do recommend uh, that you do not put it into the direct sunlight um, however but uh, into a bright place um, and uh, where there's lots of light of course but maybe not direct sunlight because this can cause also some uh, overheating um, of the culture and uh, of course uh, again a little rotifer moving along the microscope slide you find them quite a lot especially if there's uh, some decomposition going on uh, then because they of course have heterotrophs that um, eat uh, organic material and then of course some algae again. The point that I'm trying to make is, is be open for experimentation um, and uh, try out different combinations, try out different fertilizers. I do recommend that you use inorganic fertilizer and not organic one simply to keep the bacterial count low. I think that's um, also uh, important that you are actually enriching only those organisms that you actually want to observe and not just uh, not just anything. I think uh, for today it's again enough. I hope that you like it. Please do check out the links that I have in the description. There are so many resources that I have um, yeah, the microscopy shop, the fundraiser, 
are where I would like to ask you for your support. Um, other YouTube channels that I have which are microscopy related, please check out the links below. Um, those of you who have subscribed to the channel of course know already about all of this. I wish you all the best, happy micro hunting as always. See you around next time, bye bye.